This is some green light good stuff called Dragon Bros. It's one of the dragons there. This September. Talk about this September. Help these dragons. Those ones there. Find their mom. Not on screen. But they are two dragons finding their mother. And they've got to do that with a lot of shooting of robots. Because, of course they do. Why wouldn't they? Uh, it's hard not to compare it to Broforce. It's got that similar sort of uh, high octane, I guess is the buzz term. Uh, violence. A lot of shooting, coins, explosions, visual information everywhere. Uh, to the point of being uh, maybe just a little bit difficult to follow. But... Um, I'm just about managing, just about managing to keep track of everything, got a nice little world selection, some good animation, very well animated, and I like the soundtrack as well, it's got good music. So that's, uh, oh wait, there's a little ending bit, some round thing, with headphones, I think. They call it Dragon Bros, which I find alarming, because cause that's brass. These are dragons. Bros. Dragons. Bros. Dragon Bros is an amazing run and gun with gorgeous pixel art graphics and punchy soundtrack. It finds its roots in Metal Slug, Bro Force, and Super Time Force. I don't think uh, those inspirations will surprise anyone who's played any of those shooters before. You can explore the multiple levels alone or with a friend, test mad weapons, and try to survive the harder difficulties. The robots are called Mecha Liches. Apparently, they're an evil robotic society who survived the collapse of a technologically advanced alien civilization. So, that's what they are. That's good to know. I bet you didn't know that. Game promises a smooth and fresh interpretation of classic run and gun games. Uh, you can play uh, local co op, two players, uh, 60 frames per second, always nice to know. Gorgeous pixel art, lots of weapons and alternate fire modes. Good soundtrack, they claim. Uh, well, I heard in the trailer, it sounds pretty good. Top scores, high difficulty modes, responsive controls and updates and new free levels, apparently. So that's cool. There's a demo. They've got a Dropbox link there. Um, I never advise people to click on any links ever, even in Greenlight Good Stuff, uh, just because Valve doesn't monitor that shit, so you don't know what you're clicking on. Actually, they got the demo on uh, IntiDB. Um, it's a bit more trustworthy, so you can try the demo there if you want. Uh, it's always nice that they've got a demo. A lot of these games on Greenlight will just be nothing but a concept, and when they finally get greenlit, they throw up some quote-unquote pre-alpha on early access that has no gameplay. So that's good. It's always nice to have a demo under your belt. And that's Dragon Bros slash Bros, if you're into pronouncing it that way. Uh, looks pretty damn good, as always. There's no guarantee it will be, but uh, it's got some promise. That's what we're here for. We're here to look for the promise. So... Nice. Nice. Incidentally, following up some of our other green light good stuff uh, features, Al was Awakening ended up in the top 20, uh, and uh, they were very thankful for uh, the support of those who watch this series, which was nice to see. And Collogian, uh, seemingly against all odds, got kickstarted. Uh, when we saw it, it had eight grand of, I think, around 35,000 um, with eight days to go. And there was a surge of backing following um, our video on the subject and yeah there we go green light good stuff continuing to have a very lovely effect now let's just keep my fingers crossed that the games actually turn out well because that would be nice nice